Smart PSS also has a playback function. You can playback video that you have stored on the DVR itself, or you can also even playback video that you had stored locally. For example, in a previous uh, section, I had clicked the little record button that started a local recording. We can go through the machine and actually play that back as well. So this is your general playback layout. You're going to have your channels over here and you're going to have your window down here. Now, once again, you can select the grid and how many channels you want to view simultaneously by clicking this little button down here. You can even customize it once again. I'm going to go ahead and stick with a 4 channel. I find that going beyond this actually sometimes will lag up the PC or lag up the machine and it, it's just not going to work as well. Not to say it doesn't work, but personally I found that going through single channel or a 4 channel view tends to work the best. So what we're going to do is over here we have our device. We can search through all of our cameras by clicking this or we can search through individual cameras simply by checking them off. So I'm going to check off these first four cameras. Down here we're going to have your start time and date and your end time and date. So I'm going to be looking for a data that was recorded today. Go ahead and click the search button. It'll start searching. And all this data down here is what I have recorded. So if I wanted to play back something, we can go through the playback you can see that, well, yes, it was a very snowy day. But you have all these different channels playing back. Now, you can sync all of them so that you have the actual times all synced up. That's by hitting this little button here. It's very useful in a lot of situations. You may not have playback at the exact same moment, and you start clicking one, start clicking another, and they're out of sync. And you know, you kind of want to view everything at the same time. Now, one of the functions that you can actually get through playback is to back up small clips. We have this snipping tool here. Now, this will allow you to back up short clips. I would not recommend using this for any sort of large time frame. If you're going for a larger file, I'd recommend going through the backup options, either through the DVR or backing everything up by event. So if you click this, it will will start the clip at the moment that you click it. I'm going to wait five, maybe ten seconds. Click the time clip button again to save that particular little clip that you have. Now you can browse in your computer where you want the file saved. I'm going to go ahead and keep it at the default folder. And you have your different formats that you can save this as. Now, ASF, while there are quite a few players that work with this, the two most common video files that you will see are AVI and MP4. Generally speaking, I recommend people save something as an AVI if they have an option. So you could go ahead, click the OK button. The camera needs to stop playing. It needs to stop going through playback in order to back up the file. You click OK, and it'll export the file. One of the other ways of backing up files is by event. Now, this is actually great if you want to back up numerous files. Let's take camera one, for example. I'm going to do a search for camera one on this day. Now, each one of these events is when motion was detected. So you can see the event list goes on for quite a ways. You can do a maximum backup of 200 of these event clips at a time. Now you would go ahead and do that by selecting all or selecting the 200 that you wanted, clicking the save button here, and that will actually export all these files. And once again, you can export them in whatever file format you would like. You click OK. It'll give you the warning, the max number is 200, so it's going to go from 0 to 200. And as you can see, it'll go through exporting the files one by one. Once it's completed, you can go ahead and go through the other files.
Now, this would be wonderful if you were trying to back up, let's say, a full day's worth of data, and you wanted it all as visible files on your PC. This would probably be the fastest and best way to do that.